Tom here from West Country Tech and we've come out today to film the installation of a Starlink faster internet. Now we've come here to this lovely location up on Exmoor. Uh, the customer's got the main house and then they've got four holiday lets. The holiday lets are all part of one barn conversion. Um, and we are here to install Starlink. Uh, the customer's currently surviving on, I don't know, a sub five megabyte connection from a local point-to-point uh, -point provider. The install quality is shocking so there's loads of reasons why it's not going to work anyway they've had enough BT is not good enough out here the local provider isn't good enough uh, so we are here to get them a much faster speed for those of you that don't know how Starlink works um, ultimately you go onto the Starlink website you type in your postcode or use a plus code the plus code it will explain on there what that is specifically and it will tell you whether or not you can get Starlink in your area if you can you can then hit order now and then within a week or two you get all the gear ordered now what we've got here um, is the Starlink kit as it gets delivered, which is in this larger box. And then the reason I've laid these other items out on the floor, these are essential for anybody that's going to install Starlink into a, an, an existing infrastructure. If you're simply going to have Starlink installed in your house, the kit comes with a Wi-Fi router. So what that means is you install it on the house, you get your Wi-Fi router, it broadcasts a Wi-Fi job done. You're connected to the internet and that is it. Um, because the customer's already got Wi-Fi here and we're plugging into that, there's two essential things we've had to order and most of our customers will order these and we'll recommend ordering them. Um, and that is an ethernet adapter, which is this. And what that does is basically allows us to take a connection from the Starlink router and produce a standard RJ45 Ethernet adapter. And the second item, which is essential, is the pole adapter. And that is gonna take a two inch or smaller pole size, uh, which we're gonna be utilizing today, which we'll see later on in the video, to the standard Starlink adapter. Um, now, in the box, a bit of a mini unboxing video. You literally get this, which is the instructions and it just tells you to download. It doesn't even give you any words. Um, it just says download the Starlink app, get it connected and that's it. it. It really is that simple actually. So in the box, we've got a standard kind of flat mount, which is this, we're not gonna be use, using that today. And then you get this, which is the main dish. This is where the, uh, where the fun is because this thing, once it's installed, moves on its own. This thing will go flat and then it'll face the sky, align itself, and it'll probably realign itself three or four times until it gets the fastest speed. So we're gonna be installing that. And then you get 25 meter cable. Now, one thing to remember with all of this and something we have to deal with is that this is all pre-made um, bespoke ends. So when we're drilling through walls, we've actually got to, we've got to make the ends so the hole's big enough to send these connections through, so that's something to consider. And then this is the Wi-Fi router, uh, which I'm not too happy that they haven't put any buttons or lights on this thing. It doesn't really tell you anything, but you plug it in, you turn it on, you wait, it broadcasts a Wi-Fi network, and that's it, it's job done. I mean, I think the reason Starlink have done this is to really simplify it from a consumer's perspective. Um, it would be nice to kind of let you know what it's doing. It doesn't, but anyway, it is what it is. So that is the hardware, that's what we've got, and um, we need to crack on with the install. Right, we've got the Starlink all connected up now. So the Starlink is temporarily fixed onto the base. We've got the cable run, in this case, inside to the router, which is in there where it's plugged to the nearest plug socket. Uh, what you do is once you first turn it on, uh, Starlink recommends you face it kind of north, north-south, uh, but ultimately the thing will spin around and find its alignment. Um, but we turn it on and around three to four minutes, uh, the Starlink will align itself, twist, and then it'll be latched onto a satellite. But the actual connection doesn't go live, it varies. We've had it go live in two minutes, we've had other sites 10 minutes. So uh, once it's installed, I recommend downloading the Starlink app, and the app will actually allow you to show when it's connected to a satellite. When you first turn on the system, um, I don't know why Starlink did this, but they, the, the default Wi-Fi name that's broadcast from the router is Stinky. Um, I don't know why, but anyway, you connect to that and then it, the second you connect to it, it tells you to create a new Wi-Fi name and a new password. So it's all very simple. 
um, and then once you've done that you reconnect and then you just got to wait until you've got internet but you can actually download the app and the app will allow you to do some speed tests it'll allow you to check visibility if, if there's anything in the way um, and it'll also tell you what it's connected to and what the, the, like the strength of it is uh, the visibility thing is I don't I mean we've never used it because we always tend to install the Starlink above a roof line so there's never going to be anything in the way. If you are installing it in a, in a place where you've got say on a flat roof and there's a, a wall in the way then you can use the app to find out um, how much visibility it's got and if it's going to work. Uh, best, best thing to do though is to always have this thing installed above the roof line which we're going to do on this install. Well, I've come under shelter now because it's absolutely chucking it down here up on Exmoor. Uh, we're finished now with Starlink, a nice simple install. Uh, we've got the Starlink dish on the top apex of one of the holiday lets and that's giving us a speed currently of 140 megabytes. We've got that connected into the customer's existing infrastructure and all we've got individual Wi-Fi points through four holiday lets and the Wi-Fi in the house live. Um, actually, we're in discussions now with the customer to upgrade that because it's um, uh, an older system not running at full uh, capacity so we're actually getting about 60 megabytes in the holiday lets whereas actually we should be getting the full speed so we're in discussions about upgrading that but as it stands uh, the Starlink's installed we've got fast internet they've gone from a sub 10 megabyte connection which was flaky used to cut out in bad weather to a reliable fast connection um, and they are very happy thank you for watching